Um, I mean, when you create one of these modern web applications, basically you need static files with JavaScript a lot on the client side that will be running on the on a browser. Then you will have maybe some Node.js that will do some API for you. And your web application will only interact with this API. And mainly all the code is there. So then you can take all these files, you can put it on Amazon on a bucket, and even you can use a CDN. And uh, your, your site is very fast. I mean, all the files are there, all the code is very fast to distribute uh, among the clients. But, but uh, basically you don't have Git push. your site, you do some minification and stuff, you want to upload your, uh, your site on production, you will maybe uh, take all the files, overwrite everything and put it there. So that can make, it, uh, it can take like 10, maybe 15 minutes, if you have a site with hundreds of files or thousand, right? So we got fed up by this because we wanted to be able to like dozen of times per day to be able to change files, put in production, see the results immediately. So we created this small tool, S front, S3 front, and uh, it's very fast. It helps you to uh, to do that. I will uh, show you some uh, example. I hope it's okay now. The adapter is not uh, Apple. That's why. <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, okay. Let me just. It's a command line tool, so to use it, you just uh, install it with npm, uh, and then um, uh, uh, the configuration is the uh, parameters. Yeah, we will remove this after. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> uh, so you give the, the access key, the secret key, the your bucket, you don't see it, slash b, your bucket. Okay, this is the Bangalore website, bangalorejs.org uh, website. And you just upload, and that's it, you see, it's very fast. So. <laughs> What we did here, uh, we didn't do nothing because, uh, so first, when you upload your website, it's not doing one file after another. You can uh, do like 10 files in a batch and then 10 more, so it's getting faster. But still, it's not fast enough because when you have a big site with thousands of files, maybe, um, you don't want to wait that much. So what we do is that we have some um, uh, small um, uh, JSON file uh, you see this uh, this uh, S3 front dot JSON, okay? Basically, in this file, we we um, we keep the MD5 MD5 hash of each file, so that next time you do it, you go in the directory, you run your S3 front, it will check into this file for the which bucket you're uploading. If it's there, uploaded, it will not upload it. That's why uh, now why I, I did it. It was so fast. So you see for each file in this, uh, we get MD5. So it's a really tiny tool that can help you, you know, as the, more f the faster you can deploy, the more happy you get because at the end of the day, if you have, it's you have to wait for this, it's like a pain. So uh, yeah, basically that's, that's, the, that's the tool. It's on GitHub uh, slash minge slash S3 front. You're welcome to use it if it's useful for you. And uh, yeah, there is one more uh, options. So it's not working all the time, but you can specify to invalidate the CloudFront uh, distribution if you use the, the, the CDN, Amazon CDN. And uh, so it's checking if the, the domain name is the same. So sometimes it's not so working, but can be useful also. And uh, yeah, that's it. Any question, guys? Like running, you know, uh, watching, like kind of. Yeah, would be nice. Exactly. So, okay. Thanks, guys.